Greetings, and welcome to the Republican Climate Channel. Oh, and here's a friend of mine, Mitt Romney. Greetings. Hello. Well, are you poor? Then the Republican Party thinks that you are lazy. Now, I'll be the first to admit that there are a lot of lazy people around. Many of them are, in fact, poor, although the lack of inheritance taxes means that some lazy people are rich. But most of the poor people that I have met, and I've met a lot more than Mitt Romney has. Really? Yes, I've met more poor people than you have. Really? Yes. The poor people that I've met want to work. They're unemployed. They want to work. I know people on disability. They want off of disability. They want a job. The unemployed people that I know will stoop way below their abilities in order to get some kind of income. And yet, Mitt, yes, you have claimed that 47% of Americans feel that they are owed a living by the government and that they are just dependents upon the government. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, you know, Mitt, you visited Israel recently, and when you were there, you indicated that the reason that Israelis were richer than Palestinians was because they have a superior culture. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, but there's something that you forgot to point out, and that is that the Israelis have killed hundreds of times more Palestinians than the other way around. Now, how is a Palestinian supposed to work if they are having bombs dropped on them all the time? There is the story, you may have heard of it, of the doctor whose daughters were doing well in school and he encouraged them to study hard so that they could get good jobs. And then a bomb fell on their house. They were not militants, they were not um, doing anything evil, but a bomb fell on their house. He walked into his daughter's room and he saw the blood dripping from what was left of the ceiling. Now, how can you earn money if you are being bombed? Ah, no answer. Okay. Around the world, poor people are often sick. This is true in the United States, but it's especially true in places like Africa. They're sick from bad drinking water. And they have everything from intestinal distress to river blindness caused by guinea worm to tapeworm cysts in their brains. And how can they work if they're sick? I've read that 65% of African children have anemia from some source or another. This leads to fatigue. How do you expect them to put in a vigorous day's work when they're sick? The Republican solution, yes, is to stand by like a Pharisee and point down at the sick and denounce them as being lazy. I think a more effective solution would be that adopted by the Carter Center, founded by former President Jimmy Carter. And what they are trying to do is to eradicate the guinea worm that causes a type of river blindness. And if that disease could be eradicated, the people who would have been sick from it will instead be able to work harder for their own enrichment. Which I would think would be something that you would like. Ah, uh, well. Okay, another thing is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is trying very hard to eradicate malaria, at least provide funding for the eradication of malaria. You know, if it were not for diseases like AIDS and malaria and the many other things, Africa would be rich. They would live up to your ideal of being a uh, profitable free enterprise continent. But they need help. When governments, when countries get medical aid, it turns out when you give them aid, they don't just have more kids and stay poor. The evidence indicates that when they have received medical and economic aid, that their fertility rate has actually gone down, and their population growth has actually slowed. So, perhaps Mitt will solve the Middle East crisis by telling the Palestinians that their culture is inferior? Is that really going to do any good? Well, apparently not. Well, thank you for listening to the Republican Climate Channel. Good night, and good luck.